Now to vote 2023, and we start in Bridgeport, Connecticut, in a most strange situation in the race for mayor in the state's biggest city. Here's the rub. Folks in Bridgeport might not know who the next mayor will be for another few weeks. That's right, few weeks. This year's abnormal race has two Democrats vying for the position, incumbent Joe Gannon and challenger John Gomes. Gannon won the September 12th primary, but a new primary was ordered. This after claims of ballot box stuffing took the case to court. With the latest on how voters are reacting to all this, I would News reporter Marcus Solis live in Bridgeport for us. Marcus. Indeed, Bill, the voting still going on despite all that uncertainty. And this is one of those absentee ballot collection boxes at the heart of the controversy. Security footage shows workers stuffing that ballot box. Video that the judge in the case called shocking and leading him to order a new primary. The arguing between campaign workers outside of a polling location speaks to how heated the race for Bridgeport mayor has been. Today's general election is moving forward, despite the fact that the outcome of September's Democratic primary hasn't been officially determined. It's all because of this security footage that surfaced showing a city hall staffer and supporters of the incumbent allegedly stuffing absentee ballot collection boxes. Despite trailing early, those absentee ballots gave Mayor Joe Gannam a victory by just 251 votes. If it was stolen, then I want to know if it was stolen. But if it wasn't, I still want to know if it wasn't. We, we just got to get it together. Well, if there's a question, if they're not uh, sure of something, the best way to do it is to do it over if it has to be done over because we wanted to. We wanted to be legitimate. Challenger John Gomes sued and a judge has ordered a redo of the primary. But Gomes is on today's ballot on the independent line and is hoping to win the election outright. Gomes voted this morning, accusing his opponent of being up to the same old tricks. Uh, we have put complaints with the same perpetrator that have the, the very tight relationship with him acting out on the same uh, thing as far as uh, going to seniors' house repetitively, bullying them, intimidating them. This afternoon, absentee ballots were handled under police guard. The mayor insists the rules are being followed. We're doing everything we can and everyone else is, not only to, to add uh, additional levels, um, and I think this should be permanent, frankly, across Connecticut. All right, so buckle up. Here are the different scenarios. If Gomes wins tonight on the independent line, he is the next mayor. If Ganim wins, there will be another Democratic primary. If Ganim wins that, he remains mayor, upholding today's results. But if Gomes wins that primary, then there'll be another general election. It's enough to make your head spin. Polls tonight close at 8 p.m.